So, um, we're in Cornwall, we're on the Lizard, we're going to try and find some bass, maybe some pollock, and maybe some wrasse, so a little bit further down this track, um, and hopefully we'll find somewhere to get on the rocks, I'm sure there'll be somewhere, so yeah, I'll bring you back when we find somewhere. So all I'm using for these rasps is a 10 gram jig head, we've had a 2-0 hook and then I'm just lightly hooking a ragworm, just letting that bob around somewhere near the bottom and that's what the rasp just took, let's see if we can get another. Solid. Got to keep out of the kelp. There's a ledge down there as well, which you've got to just keep it clear from. Second cast on the rag. Look at those colours. Like a tropical fish. Beautiful. Again, just a ragworm on a jig head. Oh, I just came back. Just show you his belly. Look at that. Could be off a tropical reef, couldn't he? Right, you can go back. Beautiful colours. His teeth. Nice fish. Pound and a half.
cast on the feathers. It doesn't feel like a mackerel. You can normally tell by the tails. Always on that bottom feather, so they're always that bit deeper. of the day I think. Oh, we might be a little bit warm. size of the Lola. So there we go. Lights fading. I think we ended up with about five, six pollock and um, lots of wrasse but all on all on worm and um, you've seen the method just a little jig head really uh, about 10 gram and that was working really well and ragworms but also the sabikis were picking up a few of the pollock so there we go i'll leave you with the lovely lizard in cornwall thanks for watching